Okay, in the last video we had a look at the different establishment options. We're now going to move on to the market and consider things like location and price and also the product itself. So three, que th three crucial questions to ask when starting a business. What good is services actually going to be sold? What's the price that the product or service is going to be sold for? And where will I sell the product from? So the particular good or service, you know, that's obviously a key question. What are we actually going to sell or what service are we going to provide? And is that good or service provided by someone else, by many other parties, or is that service provided by someone else or many other parties, or is this quite unique and therefore maybe has a better chance of, of um, success, but then again, is it unique because it's a, op a business that has been unsuccessful by others in the past? The owners need to po should possess knowledge and experience required regarding that particular good or service, and that might require some market analysis to be undertaken. So collect, summarise, analyse information about <clears throat> those particular markets to see whether the opportunities for that particular good or service um, is l likely to make it a successful one. And that really is trying to determine is there going to be a demand or is there going to be a market for this particular product. How would you do that? We well, might do that through a survey, going out and asking people questions uh, through a questionnaire. Use focus groups, so get people around a, in a group, ask them particular questions, see if see if they think that that particular business idea has legs uh, and then under, undertake undertake any research by using ABS data, bring in a business consultant for example. <coughs> the question then becomes of price, which is always a challenging one. Set your price too low, it's difficult to achieve a profit because you're going to struggle to cover your costs. Set the price too high and you're potentially driving away potential customers. So there's a real balancing act there. And for a new business, it's, it's really crucial because you need to make a good first impression. But at the same time, the business needs to be you know, trying to cover its costs. So you've got three basic methods. You can use a cost-based method. So what's the cost of the product? And we'll add a margin on top and that will be our price. Market-based, what what, what's the intersect, interaction between supply and demand? And that will determine our price or sorry, that should say competition based. So what are, what price are our competitors selling it at? Do we want to undercut our competitors, i.e. sell it for a lower price? Or are we going to sell it for a higher price and have the perception that our product is actually a premium product uh, in relation to our competitors? Location is another key factor as well. Some of the things to consider are visibility. How easy will this particular location be seen by passing traffic? Is it on a main road? Is it in a shopping mall? Um, what's the, vi the visibility? Is it going to be really expensive or is it going to be cheap? In a Westfield, for example, if you're running a retail store, you're going to pay quite a lot of money, but you're going to get high visibility, lots of passing foot traffic. So that needs to be weighed up. How close are you to your key customers? You know, surfboard shop on the northern beaches is close. Surfboard shop in um, the, the western suburbs is not very close to customers. Proximity to suppliers to cut down on transportation costs and time is important and proximity to competition. Do you want to be close to your competition to try to you know, outdo them or do you in fact want to be far away um, because you think that that competitor is actually doing a really good job and it's going to be hard to compete with them. You've got a few different options in terms of location. You can use shopping centres. I mentioned Westfield before. You've got shopping strips like main roads, IE like Military Road, Parramatta Road. Uh, these main thoroughfares we're going to get a lot of passing traffic. Often they can park quite easy at the front of your store if it's not you know, peak hour traffic, so that's advantageous. Uh, increasingly, obviously, increasingly online businesses and an online presence. So uh, running a business online through just an e-commerce platform and store, no physical store, low cost, or even home-based businesses, service-based businesses that are offer, offer, run out of a home office. They don't need a, um, an office front or they don't need a retail store. And they can successfully do that um, because they're out in the road visiting clients all the time. Clients are never coming to them. Okay, the next video we'll look at finance in terms of the different sources and the cost involved.